In this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the Central Machinery Compact Bender Bench working with aluminum. All the other videos I've seen on YouTube have been working with steel. As you just saw on that sticker, the max bend width or thickness is supposed to be 5 sixteenths. Um, it's actually quite a bit more with aluminum. As you can see on the bench here, I've already pre-bent a lot of this metal over here. The first piece I bent was 1 8 inch thick um, flat bar. That's really a no-brainer. Everyone knows you can do that with this machine. Um, the next thing I tried to do is, this is 16 gauge, a 16th of an inch square, half inch by half inch aluminum tube. It, it cracked. Um, the next thing I tried to do is fill it with some sand. Um, it was actually some tile mortar, because that's what I had hanging around. And that bent too. Um, then I tried to do a cut down the side to relieve the stress. This is some inch by half inch, 16 gauge aluminum. Um, and that cracked too. Um, then I tried to do some one by one inch channel, 16 gauge, uh, that cracked off too. Then I thought, well, instead of trying tube, why don't I try channel? Because channel has three sides instead of four, and it's the fourth side that really causes a lot of stress. So this is inch and a half by inch and a half channel, and it bent really well. This is cold bending it. Um, now, something you do typically with scroll work is you will bend an S-shaped curve. So you'll have a curve go like this, and then the other side will be an S-shape. Well, if you did that, on the other side, you're going to have the channel going the opposite way. And you can see that that causes a lot of distortion in the metal there. It doesn't look very pretty at all, versus this original bend where it looks nice and smooth. So what you could possibly do is just take, um, I put this in a vise and I twisted it. I really mangled up the end. You probably need to put like a 5 16 square into this. Um, and you could give it a twist as you make the S section here. And that looked kind of ornamental too. Um, so just some ideas. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Next, I heated up some 1 quarter by 1 quarter inch channel. And unfortunately, this was uh, way too thick. I put the red H on there to mean I heated it. Um, so I thought, well, how much bigger can we go? This is three quarter by three quarter inch channel. It's one eighth inch thick. Um, I bent this first down here. This was a cold bend, and it didn't too well, do too well. It kinked and just made kind of like a 90 degree bend there. Then I put this on a gas stove for about four or five minutes, basically annealing it. That means softening the metal. And this is around a two and a half inch die. Actually, all these bends are two and a half inch. That bent fine. The next thing I want to show you is some rectangular tube I have here. So this rectangular tube is no longer a tube. I basically put on the table saw and I cut off one side of it. And this was again heated up, hence the red H. And this bent pretty well over this side right here. So I hope that gives you some ideas of what you're going to do with this bender. Um, I really think probably the half inch by half inch, this is 93 mil thickness, is probably the best for scroll work. It has a really beefy look to it because most scroll work is done with 3 16 metal, which is about a third the thickness. So this gives it a nice beefy look. Um, and hope that gives you some insight on what you can do with this uh, Harbor Freight metal bender. Um, I would say the 3 quarter inch is probably about the heaviest channel you can use with this bender. This is also a pretty common channel that you can find. Um, it's off the shelf stuff. Or this half by half inch channel is really good. Thanks for watching.